Hey guys, Flutterleaky here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Simple Prefix for Bucket. Um, it's really easy. Um, so, what you do need to have though is a uh, Super Perms Manager plugin, uh, like Permissions Bucket, which is what I'm going to be using here. Um, as long as you can manage nodes and apply them to users or groups, then it will work fine. So I've got my Minecraft server folder here, and what we have to do is we just go into our plugins folder, and all we have to do is drag in our plugin, Simple Prefix, and whichever permissions manager that you're using. For me, it's permissions bucket. Then we want to open up our console, and we're just, I'm just going to hit in reload, and it will just reload uh, all our plugins, and you'll see two folders appear. Um, one is for Simple Prefix, we've got our config.yml file here, which is where we uh, our, add our prefixes, basically. Um, so you want to... It, if you open it with Notepad, you generally end up with something like this, which is not a good idea. I'd, I'd recommend Notepad++, on Windows that is. I don't know about other operating systems, but anyways, this is what it should look like. And if you don't know what a YML file is, basically it's, it's a certain way of arranging a text document. Um, so you have kind of, I guess you could call them headings like this group here, and then a colon afterwards, which is important. Then you start a new line, and you have four spaces for an indent. You don't have a tab, it's four spaces. That's important, by the way. Um, anyway, so I'll, I'll move on from that. So we got, in this default configuration, we have three group files. We have admin, op, and member. Now, you don't have to use these. You can get rid of them. You can rename them. Um, I'm going to add a group, and to be different, I'm going to add it below admin. Um, I don't want to intend it like that. I'm going to backspace four times. I'm going to call it cool cats. And then we remember to put in the colon, new line, one, two, three, four, and type in prefix. And we have two, uh, we have a single inverted comma like that. And we can write our prefix. You can use colors. The colors range, uh, the way you do colors in Minecraft is with the ampersand sign like this. And then you can use A to F. So basically A, B, C, D, E, F. And then the numeric values of one to nine, basically. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, basically, you, you can just look them up. If you go to the thread there, we have a table that includes all the colors and what they are. Um, for this, I'll use six, which is kind of a, a goldy yellow color. And I go cat with a K because it's cool. And my suffix on this group is going to be, like, if you don't want a suffix or you don't want a prefix, maybe you only want a suffix, then you just leave it blank like that, pretty much. Um, my suffix in this is going to be, let's go, and, oh, let's go with A. I don't even know what A is. And we'll go star star just because we can. Anyway, so you can figure that file however you want, whatever you want to do with it. And then the way we apply the prefix to our users is going into our plugin manager. And you'll see it's a YML file as well. Um, and then in the, in this uh, this permissions one, you can see the nodes are underneath permissions. We have a permissions area. And then all we have to do is add in our permissions. So for group admin, um, we saw that it was just admin. So basically this group name here is going to be our permissions node. So whatever you name it is the permission. So in this case for admin it would be simple prefix dot admin and then we go true. Um, and I will create a new group. I'll just copy this group here. I'll be fine. Oh that's bad. That's wrong formatting there. Got to make sure you format these properly otherwise you're in a whole heap of trouble. Um, so I'm going to call this cool cats and then the permission node for this one if you will notice is actually I've got I've got two capital C's and capitals are important to note by the way so in this one it was simple prefix dot cool cat true I think it was cool cat was it cool cats cool cats sorry I forgot the s but anyway that that's basically how it's going to work and you just give them the prefix like simple prefix dot the group name and then true. Essentially that is how it works. And then you just save both files, reload the server, and then whenever a user logs into your server, I had Minecraft on the desktop, there it is. When a user logs into your server, they, their, their display name will be changed and it will only change on login. Um, so yeah, so basically if you change the prefix while the server is running, um, the user will have to disconnect and reconnect for it to work. Now, I'm fairly sure I'm not actually in any group now, so what we'll do is go hi. Yep, not in a group, okay. So then in our permissions area, users. Let's just change that guy's name. Change that to Flabaliki, because that is my username in Minecraft. And we go here, reload, and we just want to disconnect and then reconnect. And I'll reset our display name to the admin prefix that we have. 
There it is. It says admin and then flubbly key. And now we'll, we'll do our cool cats one because we can. Cool cats. I think that's what I call the group. Yes, it is. I should have named these the same. So I just want to do a reload again. Obviously, you want to set these all up before you... So you don't have to keep reloading the server every five seconds. But, I mean, it's really easy to do. And it's quite flexible. There we are. Cat, flabaliki, star, star. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that's another thing I meant, to, I meant to note. If we go like this and go back into our simple prefix configuration, um, you'll notice this one has and f after it. <clears throat> that means... Because if you don't put a color code after it, it will make the user's name the same color that you've set it, pretty much. So that means... The, the way the reason I did that is because if you if you don't want a prefix at all, maybe you just want a color. So maybe I just want six there. That means I will be a color. I forgot what color it was now. But if we go back here, we'll see that now my name is a goldy yellow color, and I don't have a prefix. But my name color has changed. So I mean, it's useful for that. Anyways, um, <laughs> so that that's good for that. We just just connect now. So basically. This is your simple prefix configuration file where you set the groups and the prefix or suffix. And then in the configuration file of your permissions manager, you just add the node simple prefix and dot group name true. That's it. I hope this helped you guys. Thanks.